Hello, welcome to Plugins for Lab Tech. Today we're going to go through uh, and uh, using the PowerShell shell for Office 365 on your local consoles. So today we're going to open up our system here that I have open. And you'll notice that we're currently running. This is a clean system. It has nothing installed on it other than the Lab Tech console. Uh, and we've already pre-configured uh, a, a client inside of, uh, uh, of the console here. So if you go into the console, we go to our passwords tab for our P4L client. Oops, there, it is. there we go. You'll notice I have an Office 365 user in here already. Um, so we have also set up a probe on another machine to probe for us, which we'll show you that as well real quick. So technically, we are ready to use Office 365. Uh, if you look here, you'll see that we have uh, clients already in our config here. We have a drop down. We have a client, at least one. And <clears throat> it has already done a scan and collected data for us. So uh, if we go to run the open shell, this is what we'll get. And you'll notice immediately we start getting errors. Uh, and it will continue through these errors until it's completed trying to load all the different modules. The reason you're getting this error is that you haven't yet deployed the different module sets needed to manage Office 365 for remote on the machine that you're trying to use the shell on. So since this is a workstation not set up as the probe, the modules haven't been installed to this machine yet, so you need to deploy modules to your yourself as well as to the probe that you uh, you you previously deployed to and have this the system working. The probe handles all the different functions and everything that you're doing inside of a Office 365 plugin, except for the Open Shell console. The Open Shell console is the only process inside of this plugin that requires the modules to be installed on the local machine that has the lab tech console being used. So you'll see here that of course if we do a get msol user it will fail miserably saying we are not connected, no sessions are running correctly and we are pretty much uh, sol. So, or, sorry, get There we go. Object not found. Unable to get it. All right. So how we fix this? We fix this very easily. We come over here, click on our blue icon up here. That will open up our configuration window for Lab Tech. It will currently show what our what mod, uh, what um, uh, scanners we might have configured, if any. So what we need to do is come over here and find ourselves. And let's see. Who am I? One second here. Let's see how I put the control panel. Uh, come on. Control panel, yes. Uh, let's find our system. Okay, so we are employee three. All right, so we know who we are now. So we're going to come over to this list here, and we're going to find employee three. There it is. Okay. And deploy module. Now, we're not changing our scanner, which it currently shows as unconfigured. I've been kind of playing around with it. And you'll notice here, ah, we're in debug mode. I'll talk a little more about debug mode in a minute. Okay. We're not going to can set this as our scanner but we can deploy modules and verify modules on anybody in this list. So if you can find your machine in the list, you can deploy modules to it. Don't have to set it as a scanner so it takes over scanner functions, but you can deploy and, mod and verify modules that exist on those machines. And as you see here, we're running, and we've got a little indicator showing that we're in process right now, and we're going through and installing the modules on our system here for us. So how cool is that? Yeah. 
let this complete and once this is completed uh, here we'll be able to uh, we should be able to open up our show okay awesome there we go Give it another minute here. It should be finished. Okay. So we'll clean up here. Copied. That's great. Excellent. We are now there. Okay, so everything happened as it needed to happen. And we should be able to now close this window out. Come over here and click on our shell. And voila, no errors. Give this a second to operate, and we should have a nice MSOL module or uh, MSOL terminal ready to go. See if we have a good using a, a, a good uh, tunnel here on it. And as well here. And what do you know? There we go. We have a functioning console. That's how you work the console for the open shell inside of Office 365. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.